2D Design Video Tutorial 4 Vectorize. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use the Vectorize tool. Vectorize allows you to change or reduce the colors within an image. So, again, we're going to set up the page first and we're going to set it out at 150mm by 150mm square. We then need to import an image to vectorize, so we go to File, Import File, and select the image that you want to vectorize. I think we'll have a go at vectorizing this Usain Bolt picture here. This screen we don't need to change, so we can just click OK. The first thing I want to do is crop this image so that it fits within the rectangle. So to do that, we select the Clip tool, hold a finger down, and it's the first tool along, Clip to a box. And then draw a box around the part of the image that we want to keep. And then when this dialog box appears, we want to clip the outside of the image. And we're going to trim, we're going to delete the excess data. So it's already set up as we need it, so we just click OK. Then with the select tool, we can change the size of the image and drag it a little bit larger to fit the whole page. Now we could use the Vectorize tool which is found down here, or again like the last tutorial you can also access it through the bitmaps menu at the top and Vectorize bitmap. Select the image, now this sometimes takes a while depending how large the image is, but eventually you get this dialog box appearing and here you can see all the different colours which are in the image. Now we want to reduce the image down to a single colour so we select monochrome here at the top and then we can actually slide this luminescence bar up and down to make the picture more visible. Slide it to the left and the image goes lighter. Slide it to the right and as you can see the image goes darker. It's basically the contrast of the image. So that looks about right. Now you can also change the colour of the image. So if you select choose colour for the foreground you can change the colour to red or even blue like this. Now for the laser cutter down in the workshop we always use red as engraving so we're going to leave it as red and then if we did program this into the laser cutter it would engrave onto a piece of material. We don't need to click anything on this dialog box just OK and again it may take a little while but there we go a vectorized image. Don't forget to save your image at the end again call it uh, 2D design lesson 2 task 2 and then you name after it